and hey girl hey or wagwan why pre girl why pre <laughs> If you know, then you know. So today I'm coming to you girls with my Jamaica girls trip story time. I'm so excited. I met some beautiful, when I say beautiful, I met some bad chicks. I just love having the opportunity of meeting you beautiful women in person. Yes, there are some horror stories. When I say horror, horror stories but then with the good comes the bad so yes 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 i have an amazing story time to share with you girls my first time out of the country to the beautiful island of jamaica the people the culture the language just it's just amazing like when i tell you if you have not been baby you might need to go visit jamaica now don't you listen don't you get caught up now, sis, because if you're going to go, go on a mission, go focused. <laughs> go focused, ladies. So if you haven't already, please do like this video. Ladies, I have been gone for almost nine months, almost a full nine months. That's like a pregnancy. Sis could have popped out a baby and everything, okay? So, which I did not. So don't, don't come for me. Don't play with me. I did not. So with that being said, like this video is going to help get my uploads at the top of the algorithm so other women can join our community where we sit pretty, get paid, and live a privileged lifestyle through Christ. So girls, please do like this video, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell because your girl is posting every Tuesday and every Friday um, until further notice. So <laughs> y'all, I'm trying to come correct, so... I'm trying to come correct. So, um, y'all, I am rushing to our Patreon live group chat that's in a little over an hour and 20. So I'm going to try to keep this story time compact because when I do these lives, when I tell you the girls give me energy, I love going live with you ladies, hearing your stories, your backgrounds, your updates, what's going on, answering your questions, like just hearing your voice and not, I know y'all hear that. Lord, thank you for the rain. Texas, if you're in Dallas, if you're in the DFW Metroplex, you know it's been mighty spicy out here. So Lord Jesus, thank you. Um, it is Sunday. I should have recorded this video Friday or even Saturday, but I've been so busy. Um, Y'all, I've been outside. <laughs> As I should be, I've been outside and I hope you have too. Yeah, girls, this is going to be a fun story time. I'm going to try to include little videos, little clips to take you to the islands of Jamaica with me. And um, I hope you enjoy this. But listen, Friday, we're getting back to it because girls, I'm trying to put you on. I'm trying to help on your healing journey, on your journey to becoming better women, wealthier women, prettier women who work less. So next, on Friday, our next video is going to be a girl chat. I'm trying to help you prepare to meet that affluent, high value, paid, experienced, respectful potential so yes but I wanted to kind of throw in a fun video because y'all have been wondering where I've been at so I figured I would you know keep you girls updated okay so let's get into this story time so we did our girls trip back in March it was like March 16 ish like it was like around spring break now I've never left the country before I've had my passport for quite some time and I had no idea that my first time out of the country would be with a group of, of amazing women when I tell you every single girl who uh, flew into the islands of Jamaica like they were such a vibe like when I tell you a vibe they were such a vibe they like listen let's get into the story so <clears throat> Yes. So I've never left the country before, girls. And um, I was kind of discouraged. Again, y'all, if y'all haven't watched the Los Angeles girls trip that went wrong, not even wild, that went wild and wrong, please do watch that after. <laughs> 
you watch this story time so i was going in a bit discouraged i wasn't too much excited or anything like that i honestly wanted to get it out the way i was thinking in the headspace of i haven't posted on youtube in three months in addition to that like i don't anticipate or foresee myself going on any more girl trips and it hurt me i was in a bit of i was a bit down i felt as if all of the possible connections that i can make to help women would wouldn't be because of the possibilities of the negative encounters that could happen so i was like this is it <sighs> one and done you know 2023 the end of the chapter of traveling y'all are just gonna have to see me on um YouTube when or whenever I come back to YouTube because at that point I wasn't coming back to YouTube I was like listen my bills get paid and you know YouTube is good extra money but you know it's not it's not listen I can do it without <laughs> so I was like eh no not necessary so i was in a mentality mindset you know i hope it goes smoothly i hope these girls are open to actually learning actually growing actually bonding having a great time just vibing out just making amazing memories and that's what it ended up being even though i didn't go in as positive as i usually am i went in so caught my flight from dfw took american airlines and um i flew i had a straight flight it was about three hours and i was a bit nervous i was like Okay, not only am I leaving home, which that's not something new. I'm always in and out of Dallas, but <clears throat> I'm leaving the country. Like just getting through with my passport and all the different checks and the clearances and everything like that and trying to make sure that my bag's going to make it. And I was, y'all, I was like, I don't know. I just got kind of nervous. I was a bit nervous. And so it was about like a three hour flight and um, we ended up landing. And as soon as we literally landed, it was like ocean, 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 ocean. Five minutes before we landed, it looked like we were landing into the ocean. But in reality, it was the ocean and then immediately it was the runway. So I was like, that landing, babe, it took me. I was just like, whew. And so we landed and we pull up to the airport. We sat there for a moment. And as we started to get out, and I was hot, but it wasn't like, listen, I'm from Texas. I can deal with heat. I've, I've experienced the humidity of Houston, which Dallas isn't as humid as that. I experienced the dryness, the dry, the dry, the dryness of Vegas, Nevada, you know, Arizona, you know, I, like I could deal with that. But the heat that was in Jamaica, I was like, baby, but we're still indoors. Like, what is going on? So I was like, you know what? Maybe it's just this hallway. Maybe, you know, something's wrong with air conditioning. Because this was a Patreon girls trip, we were um, working with a travel agent. Hey, boo. Girl, I appreciate you because you hooked us up. You hooked us up. You hooked us up, sis, and I appreciate you. So she had, like, the VIP passes and all these different things um, for Montego Bay so we wouldn't have to wait in line for the check-ins and stuff like that. Now, I just figured that, again, I don't think I had paid extra for the VIP pass to get through uh, the de declaration or um, whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called, y'all. Again, I've only been to, I've only been out of the country three or four times and it's been all this summer and it's all been back to Jamaica. So um, I don't know what it's called, clearance, TSA, I don't know. So I was just like, I didn't pay extra for the VIP or nothing like that, but I'm just walking in and I see these concrete walls and I'm like, okay so where's the airport and then i see some of the people the jamaican people holding signs and stuff like that i said oh, okay that's cute maybe i should have did that vip like sis told me one thing about me is i spend money and because i spend money when i when i see something that i can cut on and i don't have to necessarily spend that money you know i'll stand in line a little extra because a lot of the times which i'm not gonna lie a lot of the times i get skipped up and like that's just my reality but 
neither here nor there. I was like, you know what? Let me not pay extra for this VIP skipping the line. Sis, you need to pay extra for VIP skipping the line in Jamaica. Yes, ma'am, you do. <laughs> so don't do as I did. Oh, so I walk in and I see a long line. I was like, this is so crazy. So I see a, a white couple and you know they were talking and you know, they were really nice they kept on checking in are you okay have you been here before and i was just like and they rode the same they rode in on the same plane as me and i was just like no i've never been here before i'm not really sure what to do she said did you fill out your form online i said what form online and again we did work with a travel agent and i'm sure she shared all of this information she had a beautiful website for our girls trip like when i tell you she had everything laid out the um different activities the um river rafting the you know the yacht rides like all of the things like all of the things that the girlies like she had it together for us okay so um yes she probably had this girl i know you did not probably she pro she did she did have it on the thing and i just overlooked it and I was like, no, I don't. She said, okay, don't worry. And she grabbed, the white lady grabbed my hand. And I was like, okay, we're friends. And so <laughs> she pulled me to the front of the line with her. Again, usually it's a guy that skips me up. But listen, I'm not going to be picky, baby. Take me with you. Yes, okay. Again, y'all know I'm a dependent. Write me on your taxes. Okay, okay. So um, she ended up um taking me to the front of the line and she grabbed a sheet for me she was like here where are you staying um what, what is the resort you're staying what are you doing da, 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 da. so i filled out all of that information and she said do you do, are you going to declare something i said declaration of independence a girl i don't know <laughs> like what are you what are you like what are we doing like what are we talking about so um she said no ma'am like do you have anything over the value of 500 dollars in electronics do you have any new items and all this other stuff i said oh my gosh they're in my business and so i literally had to y'all I hope whoever's traveling to Jamaica, I hope this does help. That's why I'm being a bit detailed because I do want this to kind of be an, an infomercial. Infomercial? <laughs> <laughs> to go out there like I said since it wasn't a lot of drama which we have some juicy stuff in this story time but since it wasn't a lot of drama which the girlies like again you're like oh fancy I'm glad you're okay sis I'm sure you're glad I'm okay but I'm sure you want another story time so stop playing with me but um since it's not a lot of drama I want to take more time and break down like you know just the different details of what happened and stuff like that so um she helped me fill out everything the guy went ahead and um signed my i mean checked my passport did everything and then they even had the nerve to say so if i go into like if i go into your bag are you bringing anybody anything and i said what do you mean am i bringing anybody anything i said i'm meeting other girls here they was like yes so are you bringing anything from america to give to a person here and i'm like no is that the right answer or should I say yes like I don't know and then they was like okay so we're gonna have to go through your bag I said wait what y'all they went through <laughs> they went through my bag <laughs> and thank goodness listen I I'm not always very neat but this trip I was a bit neat and organized so I wasn't too much tripping but ladies if y'all have new items make sure all the price tags are popped off so the clothes look worn they don't think that you're trying to sell anything in Jamaica to make a buck and also if they ask you are you bringing anything for anybody say no because I guess it's illegal there or it's against their rules for Americans to sell stuff to Jamaicans for Jamaicans to make money or vice versa like I don't know something like that and then also electronics make sure your electronics aren't in boxes so like laptops and cell phones and stuff like that so um yeah, and then before you go to Jamaica, make sure you go online to fill out some kind of form so you can declare and put all your information. So once I got through the airport, y'all, it felt like a prison. Do I know what a prison feels like? I don't, but I would assume it felt like that. It was very concrete walls. It was very hot like a barnyard, and I was just like sweating. But then you see these beautiful Jamaican people, and these beautiful Jamaican people have long sleeves on. They have bow ties and ties, and they're smiling with long sleeves on. I'm like, at this point, I'm almost naked. How are y'all wearing long sleeves, not breaking a sweat? And it's hot and y'all still smiling? Like, but again, going through, the women seemed ruder. Again, I don't want to say that all of the women in Jamaica are rude at the airport, but I will say they're a bit more... They're, they're similar to New Yorkers, meaning they they can come off a bit harder or harsh and they kind of look at you some type of way. But again, I don't think that's a Jamaica thing. That just might be some women thing 
I don't know. Because I'm not going to look at nobody no type of way. I'm just going to do my job and call it a day. So the women were kind of, you know, uh, rough to bypass. But the men seemed very accommodating. And they, they didn't have a problem <laughs> catering to the American women. So um, by the time I got to the luggage, I'm over here like at this point. Y'all didn't already open my bag. And, um, and what... Okay, so, yeah, so you get your luggage, and before you get your luggage, then they have to ask you the question about the bag situation, and then they check your checked-in bags, not even the carry-ons, so that was kind of weird. So once they went through my bag at this point, I might as well go put my bikini on and walk around the airport, because first and foremost, there's no air conditioning, which I did not realize this into going to Jamaica. Jamaica does not have central air conditioning, meaning they don't have a thermostat. Like, most of the locals have fans, and if they do have a air conditioning, it comes from an air conditioning box. I don't know the proper term, but it's a unit or something that's on the wall, and it has a remote control and you can kind of just turn it on and off and depending on how strong it is it can like cool off a room or two or something like that and so um and i found out because of the way that jamaica has built their buildings i think their buildings are built built out of cement versus um not stucco but drywall instead of drywall within a drywall you can has centralized air ducts and stuff like that so i'm guessing the newer places in jamaica excuse me if you're from jamaica which i know i got a lot of girls from jamaica in my listen i i love y'all and i love y'all culture and i love y'all's people and i love y'all's country so correct me if i'm wrong to my beautiful jamaican ladies um because y'all ain't never hate it so that's why i was a bit surprised maybe it's just women at airport i don't know but as we continue the story <laughs> So, um, yeah, they don't have central air conditioning unless it's a newer build. And then they might, even the clubs I've noticed in the restaurants, like y'all, I'm not going to get, okay, let me not skip too far ahead. So I finally get through the airport. And at this point I did an Airbnb. Now I gave the girls an option. I was like, this is the resort. The resort is all inclusive. You get food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, five course meals. You get everything. But then I had some of the girls not want to stay on the on the um, resort. Now with me, I, I'm a resort type of girl. But when I have a group of women, I want to be central. I want to be in a way that I can get to the girls at the resort, and I can also get to the girls who choose to do Airbnb and other things. So I was like, okay, all the girls aren't doing the resort. It would be selfish of me to do that. I need to make sure that I'm able to get to whoever I need to get to. Because from what I hear, if you are on the resort, you can, I mean, if you're not on the resort, you can't go on the resort. You might can get a day pass depending, but I think it's going to be like a hundred dollars a day or something like that, depending on the resort that you stay at. I don't know. So, um, because you're having free food and access to free amenities and, you know, their pools and their oceans and all this other different types of things. And it's only for a certain amount of hours. Like the day pass is from, I don't know, nine o'clock in the morning until like 6 p.m. and the six or maybe 4 p.m. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't know, something like that. And then the evening pass is like from five to like 11 or 10 or something like that because um, the taxis, they stop driving. So I did book at an Airbnb and it was actually a beautiful, beautiful Airbnb. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I was planning on bringing my baby boy back to that Airbnb because the owner of that Airbnb, she was a doll. So she had a manager working for her airbnb because she wasn't local in jamaica at the time the manager lived in the same neighborhood as the airbnb so she called me she said hey girl did you land and i was like oh girl i did land she was like um did you want me to do you a car service she asked me before but i heard that sometimes people in other countries try to tax or overprice visitors or tourists so i was like no don't worry about it I was like, no, I'm going to figure it out. So she was calling me to see if I landed and to confirm if I'm sure that I don't need her assistance when it comes to um, a taxi. When I went out there and saw all of those men standing out their car, outside of their cars. Now in Jamaica, they don't have obvious yellow taxis or vehicles that say taxi. It's just people in regular vehicles standing out saying, hey, you need a ride? Um, 
do y'all have an Uber? <laughs> do y'all have a Lyft app? Do y'all have a Lyft in Jamaica? Like a Montego Bay Uber? Like, do y'all have some type of app that I can uh, be sure that the drivers have been background checked and they're safe and they have license and they're supposed to be in these roads? And so they don't have that. I have to, one, either arrange a car service or some kind of jamaica tour something service or whatever the case may be ahead of time which again i didn't know and again my girl probably told us but listen i neither here nor there or you have to be comfortable trying to wing it so at the end of the point i'm on the phone with her like i'm overwhelmed i don't know what to do she said well listen it's gonna be I think $60 or something like that. You know, I can have him come last minute. Like now, he's going to take about 30 something minutes. I said, girl, I'm hot. I said, don't worry about it. It's cool. I'm going to figure it out. This guy said, I'll take you for 40 Where are you going? I told him where I was going. And then um, I was like, no, it's okay. I'll figure it out. So then I found a person that had an um, airport uniform on. I said, please, I, I don't know how this works. And I don't know who's a safe driver, who's not a safe driver, what to do. So he was like, oh, no problem. I'm going to call my friend. I would give you a ride myself, but I'm still clocked in, and I'll take care of you later on if you need a ride while you're in town. I was like, thank you. Yeah. He walked, he got all my bags, walked me over across the street from the pickup area, and he had one of his guys come in a bus. They call these vans buses, but they're really not buses, but they call them buses. I guess they're buses in Jamaica. I don't know. And so... um. He drove up um, on a bus with his little stick shift, and they um, they, they drive on, sorry y'all, my allergies have been crazy lately, are on the right side. Again, y'all know in America, we drive on our the left side, and we also, we drive on the left side of the car, but we drive on the road on the right side. In Jamaica, they drive inside of the car on the right side, but I think, yeah, they drive on the left side of the road. So he came in, and you know, he got my stuff, and he asked me where was I going. And I was just like, and I told him again, and he was like, okay, cool. That would be like $30. And I was like, okay, shoot. I guess I was right with old girl, but at least I would have, I should have paid for the convenience. But again, I didn't know what to expect. So y'all, he, I said, y'all take card, right? And then he was like, no, I was like, well, can you take me to an ATM? That's cool. And so he took me to two. You want a Jamaican man to be your husband? Is, is something wrong with them? No. Oh, okay. I don't say that. Well, I just want to make sure I'm on the right track. Because uh, <laughs> I'm sure you, you're you a Jamaican man, right? Mm-hmm. So that means that you have um, a good perspective of what a real Jamaican man is. Me, I don't know if I'm not I gonna, know. I'm not going to talk for anyone else. I'm, I would just talk for myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to three ATMs and every single ATM in Jamaica, y'all carry cash. I don't like to carry cash as a woman, period. I don't like to carry cash ever. So like, yeah, that's just not something I like to do. And so we went to two or three ATMs and they did not have any USD dollars. And of course I could have got Jamaican dollars, but I don't know how to count Jamaican money. So I really didn't know. Like I was like, no, let me just do American. So finally he took me to a grocery store out there and um, they had American money. And so I took out enough so I wouldn't have to have this issue again <laughs> since they didn't have cash app and or he didn't have cash up. Some of those people, some of them Jamaican hustlers out there have cash up. Ben Moselle, all of the all of the above. Okay. Sis, like they I don't know how they do it, but they do it. And so, but we listen, I'm lying in case anybody listen and y'all try to hate on them and cut off, cut them off on the way they get money. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but um I got enough money out and um in the parking lot, I was so surprised. I should have recorded this. Um, he wanted me to sit in the front. He was like, please sit in the front, sit in the front. Now, in Jamaica, the, the vans, they don't. I don't know if the engine is not in the front of the car because it doesn't have like a like a hood. It's like flat, like a flat nose. So I don't know where the engine is. So he wanted me to sit in the front on the left-hand side. And I'm over here like, this feels so weird. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I'm on the wrong side of the car. And then as we're pulling out, like this man was in the middle of the street like the guy was parked the man was in the middle of the street right here talking to some friends the guy would not get out in the middle of the street when he was honking so this driver this is a person so this driver literally like drives up to the man to he's touching the man and like slowly pushes him out the way with the van y'all that is assault with a deadly weapon here in texas so yeah 
yeah so the man just looked at him like you know and just walked over i'm like oh my gosh this is crazy so jamaican drivers are crazy when i tell you it's like new york times it's like new york on drugs and i'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody but like or it might be equivalent to new yorker like if you can drive in jamaica you can drive in new york and vice versa because like the roads are bad they're not they're not great driving conditions the speed limit's not posted like that the drivers yell at each other and cuss at each other and honk at each other they're rude they don't let you going over they don't merge they don't do signals they don't do none of that so finally after him going through all this mess and trying to get me to my airbnb i pay him and he said if you need me here's my number i'll come and get you whatever 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 so i go in and the host was waiting for me she said you know what fancy i'm so happy you're here she was such a doll she's such a sweetheart she's such an angel and she walked through everything she showed me how to turn on the ac unit things she showed me how to you know work all the things in the airbnb so all the electronic all the high tech stuff so she showed me how to do all of that other stuff she gave me a list of people who drive taxi drivers she gave me a list of um delivery drivers since they don't have uber eats <laughs> and they don't be having amazon same day delivery like that she gave me everything so i truly appreciate it like them jamaicans are hustlers like this one man ain't no uber eats but you can call him he'll get on his motorcycle he'll go pick up you some curry cu curry goat you know he'll go pick you up some what are those i call them fried biscuits but they're called uh parties festivals why did I say party? Oh, because I always relate it like a fiesta, fiesta, like a festival to a party. So I was like, so they gave me parties. No, they're called festivals. I call them fried, fried biscuits and they're good. So he would go over there and get you some jerk chicken, curry, goat. He'll get you some festivals and all that other stuff. And he'll bring it to you. Now, if you don't have exact change and he try to give you change in um, Jamaican money, be careful and make sure he counted out and say you know what as a matter of fact let me google the the thing because he did try to play me he tried to play me and i was like um sir i gave you eighty dollars and so you brought me a thing of water and you bought me one meal and you're gonna tell me that all you gonna give me back is like five dollars stop playing with me so but it was in jamaican money so um y'all i want to know if i'm gonna pull out some my jamaican money. No, i'm not gonna so okay so after getting settled in and stuff like that the next day the girls came in as some of the girls checked into their airbnbs the other girls checked into we did do separate um stays like if enough girls don't want to chip in to do an airbnb or if all the girls don't want to you know go the all-inclusive and do the resort route i just let all the girls do their own thing as far as accommodations for the lodging and stuff so um what ended up happening was we ended up meeting up for dinner and I was so excited so I called um one of the recommended taxi drivers I was like hey I need to get to this resort how much is it gonna be and he was gonna he said how much ever it was so he came and picked me up and you know I came outside and these Jamaican men will flirt when I tell you they are waiting for um, an American woman to marry them and bring them right on over to America for them to play to play games okay so not all of them some jamaican men are really really great men but i will say sis a lot of them a lot of them that i met that i came across i was like sir mm -mm, that finesse is not gonna work on me you don't know i'm the finesser stop so um but ladies a lot of women fell for it so y'all better be on y'all's A game because Jamaica, isn't that where Stella got her groove back? Yes, ladies, that's not where you need to get your groove back. That's not even. Get your groove back in financial institution and your bank account. Let it reflect in your savings. But don't get that in Jamaica, girl. So um, he ended up driving me over there. And by the time he got over there, he was just like, um, yeah, if you need anything, I, they're not going to allow, they're not going to have any drivers they're not going to have any drivers past a certain amount of time, but it doesn't matter what time you call me and I'm going to get up and I'm going to come and get you. And I was like, okay. So, you know, I left the the bus or the van or whatever and I went in there and I found the girls and I, and I texted them and I said, hey, I'm so sorry I forgot to give you money. He was like, oh, don't worry. I'm sure I'm going to see you again. I said, okay, sir. I guess I will see you. When will I see you again? Okay. So I was like, yes, sir, I will. I, I guess I will see you again. So um, 
Y'all, then uh, I ended up meeting the girls, and the girls were up in the room. Cute. Because it's cute. Someone do that, and then... Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can and they I think they had dinner and they brought some plates to go the funny thing is the to-go plates is on a beautiful plate and it's wrapped in saran wrap they don't have to-go boxes or anything like that like everything is just so pretty and classy and it's just like so nice so I went up there, met the girls, and one of the girls did not know it was her birthday weekend. So um, one time for our birthday chick. She is such a doll. She is so sweet. She's such a boss. She's a beautiful girl. Like when I sit here and I tell you, like, sis, listen. Hmm. So we're going to call her the birthday girl. Then we had our other girl. And um, again, I don't know she's a boss let's just say she's a boss i didn't get permission to state what she does for a living but she's she's paid <laughs> okay little sis get paid okay so she does well well two, two of them i think two of them are in the same field they both get paid so and then we got little mama i'm gonna call little mama little mama she know who she is she is such a sweetheart and then uh, so we had the birthday girl we had our boss chick and then um and she's going to dubai with us oh i'm so excited birthday girl boss chick and then we had little mama and then we had um our puerto rican our puerto rican princess our puerto rican princess she came a little bit later but right now it's just the three of us so it's just a total of five on this trip but right now we're missing our puerto rican princess so um we are over at um the room getting to know each other <laughs> So let's start our, our weekend. So we ended up, you know, having a good night, a good meet and greet. And then we ended up, let's go to the next day. The next day, we, these girls are, they're at the spa getting massages, getting facials. The girls are outside. And then we decided that we wanted to probably go to, um, you know, the different activities events. So the resort that we went to, it was two resorts. It was two resorts and at the resorts, if you have access to the main resort, it will give you access to the secondary resort. If you only have access to the secondary resort, you don't get access to the main resort. So um, how did I get on um, into the property initially? That's the question. I skipped that. So when I pulled up, I kind of, I didn't realize that, you know, you have to be staying there. So I just said, Hey, he's just dropping me off. And so they just, security just let me in. No, was it their fault? It was because they was not supposed to just let me in like that. And then I even went to the front uh, desk talking about, okay, I need help finding my girl's room. <laughs> So they was just not on point that time. So I just got in however I got in that time, just unaware and oblivious and cute. And they just let me right on in. So um, the next day, they really had to sit here and kind of finesse it because now they were on it. They was just like, okay, so what's your last name? What room are you in? Da, 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 and all this other stuff. And then I was just like, oh my goodness. But because um, I'm not sure what I said, I just said that I don't remember y'all. I don't remember what I said the second time to get in. I just, you know, gave them their last name. I think I gave them their, their last name. And I said I was a guest. And they was like, well, you know, did you want to do a day pass? I said, I don't know. I, you know, I'll think about it. Can I come back and think about it? And they was like, just go ahead. <laughs> so this is the second time. So I told them, I was like, y'all, okay, we're going to figure it out. We got to sit here and find the manager. We got to sit here and get in with the guys. We need to try to, we need to try to get in <laughs> where we fit in and find out who's the boss, the big boss on campus. And so um, we were just doing our own thing. We were having a great time. Bikinis here, cocktails here. Again, yes. At this point, I am, what is it, August? It's August 27th. Y'all, I'm like nine months sober, no alcohol, even going to Jamaica multiple times this year, okay? No alcohol. Was it hard? In Jamaica, it was because it's nothing but beautiful drinks and, oh, oh, and, the, and the weather calls for slushes and all kinds of stuff. But ladies, definitely, if you're not a drinker, get um, a virgin daiquiris and it will do just as good. 
So one of the managers on the property, he saw our group, but he specifically had his eye on the birthday girl. And he sat here and he was like, do y'all need a ride to the other side of the resort? And then um, we were like, yeah. So she sat in the front, was chit-chatting with him or whatever the case is, doing what we do. And um, what ended up happening was, oh, let me make sure. Okay. What ended up happening was um, he drove us over there and we were just like, hey, um, my name is not, <laughs> I'm not even a guest at this resort. Is there any way that you can hook us up? You know, kind of get me in and out. Like, what can you do? He was like, yeah, anytime you're here, just let me know that you're here and I'll let you in. No problem. You know, just stay low key. And, you know, this man, uh, because of who he was, he got us upgraded rooms. Don't receive it. Please, we're yeah, baddies like, and please. booty, period. <laughs> this is okay. nice. Additional rooms, he got us into places that we didn't even pay for. This man got us to the rooftop. Um, you know, snappers, quinoa, and vegetables. Is there an allergy? Should I be aware? No. Mm -hmm. May I offer you a drink at the bar, lady? Mm -hmm. The rooftop lounge that came with an extra package with the resorts, he got us absolutely everywhere. Anything we needed, rides, like he had it covered, additional access to bottle service. Like he was like, listen, y'all can go on a roof into the jacuzzi and I'll bring bottles. Like y'all, yes, all inclusive, inclusive food and drinks and stuff like that. But this man brought bottles. Like what I tell you? bottles and so um it was a great time it was a great time yes he's not a potential because it, obviously he's a manager at a resort so it's just not too much he can do but when you find people who really don't mind doing what they can that's within their means then you befriend them you're nice to them you know what i mean and they they can make things happen now on this resort we had a lot of single women and we had a lot of couples and then we had we had a lot of couples well, so many times wives came up to me hey my husband thinks you're so beautiful and and these are older white women so let's like Betty White and <laughs> all these other people it was a vibe but we kind of found out quickly that if we're gonna do anything or make any progress outside of you know what the managers can do for us we're gonna need to leave the resort and that's what we did. So ladies, never get discouraged when you're going out freestyling. Yes, every time, every trip, every freestyling venue, every off day that you might take off may not be a ideal situation. But don't let it discourage you and definitely don't let that stop you from continuing to make the best of your night. If this would have just been a trip where we could have grown and learned and, you know, went over weaknesses and strengths and just seen different tactics as far as finessing and, you know, just evaluating the girls when it comes to their body language and their confidence and their mouthpiece and stuff like that, that would have been cool. But I was like, listen, I don't ever go nowhere and don't and I get paid. Now, listen, has it happened? Yes. But does it happen often? It doesn't. So I was like, this is like, I was like, this is such a nice time. This is such a great girls trip. We're having such a good, like the vibes are everything. The girls are getting along. They're so respectful to one another. I said, we're going to make it happen. So um, we went to a few clubs and lounges and stuff like that. And of course, the club scene is the like the dusty American scene and, you know, the dusty Jamaican scene and clubs, nightlife and stuff like that is not it. But when you go to the wealthier spots and the more um, exclusive and expensive places, which again, it's not going to be necessarily for the tourist. It's going to be for the locals that wealthy, then that's how you make connections. So already have your dating app set to the location, like for Jamaica seeking arrangements and just different things like that. Because Americans who don't know Jamaica, who don't know how to get dates or don't know who's going to necessarily be out there, they're going to be in seeking arrangements. Seeking arrangements is like universal. So have your seeking arrangement app on so you can have your dates and stuff lighten up like I did for Los Angeles. This trip I didn't, I wasn't, you know, I was like, mm-mm. I want to focus mainly on these girls. I want to get this trip out the way. But I should have definitely 
had my thing on but again it still turned out good so um let's continue so we ventured outside of the um resorts and stuff like that we started mixing and mingling with different people one of our girls did have to go she had another engagement so she is gonna definitely follow up with us in dubai uh the birthday girl such a vibe we're still having a good time and finally our puerto rican princess flies in now she is a wild card she is a firecracker she is lit like girl 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 you know who you are stop playing with me so she's definitely lit and she i've never had a girl that is so, I don't know if she's been a, to Jamaica or not, but she was so confident in another country, an unfamiliar country with the drivers and all different stuff like that. Like I was a bit scared because I've never left the country again when it comes to men and stuff like that, nothing. But just being a tourist and being outside of the walls of the resort, it was kind of scary. Jamaica was kind of scary. <laughs> so but this girl was confident out there in the jamaica street she said i'm puerto rican i'm not playing with these people and listen she got us out like we explored some places that we shouldn't have been and then we also explored some places that we needed to be and it was because number one we was in a group and number two we didn't give up so we did end up meeting some great guys and so our puerto rican princess came in she ended up meeting the other girls we ended up um having a great night and again now we have additional rooms and we can come into the resort on and off we told the manager hey add her name on the list too too so she can get in and out and you know he did so on this swim up suite that they upgraded presidential suite that they upgraded us to you know we had that um so even though we weren't staying on a <laughs> the resort now we're on the resort eating at the resort and we have um a swim up presidential suite so and now <laughs> you know at this point my name is on room so and so and so and so at this point so i am i do stay here so because of that connect it was a vibe it was definitely a good time and it was because we were friendly we weren't desperate we were girls having a good time doing what girls do and then um we weren't like uptight about the crowd which is out of our control not necessarily being ideal like there wasn't any bachelor men that we could have necessarily entertained it's cute that your husband thinks i'm cute but like what am i gonna do with that like that's not gonna pay any bills so like lady stop and so um yeah because we were still in you know good uh, good spirits like we were still good we were still vibing we're still having a good time still making the best i feel like it turned out to be great the next day the puerto rican princess she was like okay vancy i'm gonna pick you up from your airbnb i made connections with this uber driver i was just like okay cool bet you know i'd rather do that because yes the uber driver that i was dealing with he wasn't really making me pay but then it just seemed like he wanted to try to put his hand on my leg or talk about us being together or you know talk about the future and all this other stuff all this love bombing jamaican men are very romantic <laughs> well i don't consider that romantic i i can i consider that disrespectful you're not gonna finesse me ninja but they could be very romantic to some so i was like yeah i'm not trying to do none of that with him then i don't want to feel obligated so it's nice having free rides everywhere not paying for nothing we're having free sweets over here free bottles over here we're just getting in everywhere but you know uh, -uh. so i was like yeah girl you can pick me up so she puerto rican mommy <laughs> Cause it's it's gonna pick me up i'm gonna go out there and i said hey girl she was like hey girl you ready i was like yeah he was like can i make a quick stop and i'm like i didn't say anything i looked at her i said that's your driver girl she was like oh yeah it's cool it's cool it's cool yeah, he just chilling on Chris, sunday night my Christopher. i like you know i like a little foreign in the foreign you know <laughs> yeah yeah i can't beat them i'll take it but they so really y'all don't have uber out here you are the Uber Daddy. The Uber Daddy. Uber Daddy. Oh, no. oh. Uber Daddy. Come and pick me Uber up, Daddy. Uber Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Uzi. <laughs> so tell me why he stops to dap up some of his friends. Then he takes us to, I'm going to enter the name of the place because I got to look it up. It's called Grange. I don't. I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to have to look it up. He takes us into the projects and slums of Jamaica. 
Once I told people where I went, I'm going to answer the name here. They said people die over there. Like literally it's in some hills. It's so dangerous over there that if you make a wrong turn and you're not familiar, the street just falls off a cliff. Like you go up a street, up a street. If you make a wrong turn, literally there's no street there. It's like not a warning sign. It's not a, a, a barricade. It's nothing. You can fall off the cliff and die. And all you see is nothing but men and like muscle tees, like wife beater, white shirts. And they just standing outside looking like something's in a pocket. And it might be a gun. I don't know. Or maybe it's a machete. They, they be using machetes. They be using machetes out there. So I was like, sir, I thought you just needed to make it. So he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to make this extra stop. And I'm looking at the Puerto Rican princess. Like, no, ma'am, no, you don't have me over here risking my life. I am a single mother. And my baby needs me. And so I'm just giving her that look. And she's like, <laughs> and I'm just like, ma'am, stop playing with me. So at this point, it's out of her hands and it's definitely in God's hands because he wind the windows down all the way and all of these people are his friends. All of these men in these streets are just standing in the streets, looking in at us, speaking Jamaican. Y'all know what it is. It's called, it's called something with a P. They're, they're, they're speaking the language that they speak out there. And I'm like, okay, so are they trying to plan something? What are we going to do now? And I'm like girl what is going on like are we gonna get out of here did you see where the entrance was or can we run for it how far is this from can you call us an uber no girl I ain't no ubers out here so this man has us over here with all these hood figures and they over here like blowing kisses and they over here doing like this to each other how they do it like wait like that or or it's where they thumb their thumbs kiss like that's like a cool thing that they do in Jamaica the men do they their thumbs are kissing and stuff so yeah so um after they kissed thumbs and you know stuff like that and you know I I told him hey I you know we haven't eaten and I would love to spend time with you and you know can we please come back after you know we get something to eat he was just oh y'all gonna come back I said yeah we're gonna come back for sure daddy we gonna come back and he was like listen I'm gonna get these girls I'm gonna get my girls some food here this is when a finesse come in I was like daddy yes we definitely coming back I didn't know you was a hood figure I didn't know you was hard like that like that's what I like that that's my type that's my type so <laughs> um yeah so um 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 okay 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 so he ended up taking us to the resort i was like listen you don't even have to spend money on us like we already at the resort we're gonna eat and then we're gonna call you when we're ready he was like mm, i don't really know about that i said listen you trying to spend some money because if you want to spend some money i could and then uh the puerto rican princess was like fancy spends some money she spent some money and i was like yeah i spent some money you can go you know and he was like, okay, cool. You looking out for a brother? Okay, you looking out? I said, yeah, I'm looking out, poppy. Like, I'm looking out. And so then um, he dropped us off. He said, just call me. You got my number? You got my number? I said, right here in my WhatsApp. Right here in my WhatsApp. I got you. And so as soon as we get out, I said, girl, I'm never getting in his vehicle ever again. I'm never getting get in his vehicle. Never again. And so after we get out of his vehicle, we go and eat, hang out with the rest of the girls. Listen. We were, we were, I guess I'm No, girl, when I said we ate and we left our place, like, it was crazy. And, um... We have a great time. So as we wrap up the weekend or whatever the case may be, we went, we freaked out at some places. We met some guys. We made some connections. We took advantage of all of the amenities at the resort, even the ones that half the girls didn't even pay for to be on the resort. And the amenities that the girls that did pay for to be on a resort didn't even pay for. We didn't, so when I tell you, we took advantage of all of the, the resorts we went to was, should I say that? I'm going to say that. Am I going to say that? I'm going to say that. We went to Breathless Se Breathless and Secrets. That's the resorts that are connected to each other. Breathless and Secrets. So, you know, go up there. He might take care of you and um, let you have a swim up resort presidential suite too. So um, we ended up going back. We um, had a good night. I ended up having a date to go to. This wasn't a date that was already prearranged. This was a date that I ended up meeting a guy out there, out there in them streets. Like when I sit here and I tell you, is it hard to find money in Jamaica? Men that make very, very good money. Any man that I have come across in Jamaica, 
they literally go to the states or go to the uk or they go to canada or they go somewhere else to make their money they bring the money back so he is a jamaican but he makes his money elsewhere so he you know wanted to take me on a date and stuff like that which was cool i was just like you know what it's the last night the girls are wrapping it up they're having a good time i end up going on a date with him he ends up pick he picks me up and he takes me to this beautiful spot like when i say here's a beautiful it was so beautiful again in jamaica they're used to seeing the ocean and all these beautiful sceneries and i'm just like we don't have an ocean in dallas we have lakes <laughs> I said Louisville Lake, uh, Grapevine Lake, like we have all the, we have all the lakes, Joe Pool Lake, we have the lakes and the mud and the sand and stuff like that. No, not the sand, but the mud and the dirt. So I had a good time. Again, Jamaican men, if you find a good one, they're very traditional. They will take care of their women. They put money in your pocket. Again, it's not what you would expect from like Los Angeles or you know Miami or anything like that but he did take care of me and you do have to kind of negotiate like in that situation I kind of negotiated I said well you know I'm more comfortable with this and some girls don't even ask so I was okay with presenting him what I with what I expected so he went ahead took care of me dropped me back off at my Airbnb and um the next day came said goodbye to the other girls and the Puerto Rican princess she came late so she was in an Airbnb so she was like fancy I know your flight's leaving today let's go to the beach we're gonna drink we're gonna have a good time I was like girl might as well so I meet her at the beach not with that guy who took us to the projects that one that put our life in danger but um I met her at the beach closest to the airport Once I meet her at the beach, my girl is throwing them back. The Puerto Rican princess is throwing it back when I tell you. So I'm not gonna. Okay. So yeah. So I'm just like, let's okay. go, friend. And she's getting kind of lit, lit to the point where I'm like, sis, uh, uh, we not drinking no more. And I, I didn't drink anything. I was just gonna make sure she was good. So I called um, one of the guys that I felt comfortable getting a ride, and I said, hey, my flight's about to leave in about an hour and thirty. I'm running kind of behind. Can you help me get her into the car? I'm not sure where she's staying, but um, I'm sure she can tell you. She's not waking up, and I can't just leave her in some random Jamaican guy's car. Like, that's not fair for him, and it's not fair or safe for her. So I'm over here trying to figure out my flight situation. My flight did get taken care of. My trip got extended. Okay, I got taken care of. Let's just say that. And um, once I got that taken care of, I... Um, tried to get this girl up she was so sleep that or passed out that i was like girl she must have started drinking before i even got in a car with her because i didn't even see her drink that much i even got her out the car tried to have her walk around this is literally 12 noon 12 noon and because it was 12 noon i was just like you're not sleepy you got home and got rest last night she's in the middle of the street and she's on her feet and her head just slumped down I said uh, -uh I can't even leave her so um after that I ended up going to her phone and couldn't get into her phone it was logged going into her purse thank goodness that one of the guys um <laughs> the guy who took us to the hood he had his business card in there and I was like okay 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 this is her driver and I asked our driver I was like can you talk to him in your language and just say hey you have her and you're trying to get her home to her Airbnb but you don't know how to do get there but I can't talk to him because he not gonna try to tell me nothing he gonna try to come and get us and I'm scared and please don't ever put me back with that man and so he was like yeah so he talked to him in his little language I love that language it's so sexy to me they'd be like and it'd be going so fast and I'd be like okay so um he ended up telling us exactly where this girl was staying we ended up going to the airbnb and the owner of the airbnb lived really really close and um we were like hey do you know where this girl's staying and he was like yeah she's staying in my air in my my place she's staying in my place right over there i was like okay good so we don't know if she has a key or not but can you help us get her in as soon as we all try to get her out of the car she wakes up she's like 
Okay, so where are we about to go? I said, girl, I just missed my flight because of you. I literally just met, missed my flight because of you. She said, are you serious? I was like, don't worry. I, I said I had somebody take care of it. I was like, girl, don't even worry about it. It's good. It's taken care of. Girl, yeah, it, it's it's taken care of. And so then she said, okay, Sophia, so you staying another night? I said, yeah, I'm obviously staying another night. She said, do you know where you're staying? And then I was like, no, because I wasn't planning on staying another. She said, you can stay here with me. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to be staying here with you, sis, at this point. Like, she was like, girl, we're going to go to this place. We're going to go to this place. We're going to go to this place. And y'all, even though you and sis is a vibe, so even though it didn't turn out, I was supposed to be on my way home the way it was supposed to be, we ended up having a good time. We went out freestyling again. We met so many great people. Y'all, sis is wild. Again, I'm not saying this is how you need to act because everybody's different. She is just a partier. And sis was on the back of somebody's motorcycle. I said, sis, we don't know him. We don't know where he's going. We don't know where he got his license from. We don't know if that's a real motorcycle, if he built that in his backyard. We just don't know. And with us not knowing, I just don't feel safe. And as I'm seeing all this, she's like, okay, fancy, you stay right here and I'm gonna come back. I'm like, on the side of the road. And she's just driving on the back of this man's motorcycle. I'm gonna insert the clip. Y'all, when I tell you, um, we ended up meeting some really great guys. Um, the birthday girl, she ended up having, you know, meeting some great guys. And um, yeah, we just had a great time. And Puerto Rican princess, mommy, you a vibe. Like, <laughs> y'all, I really, I enjoyed the girl bonding. I, I enjoyed the adventures. I enjoyed exploring the like the streets of Jamaica like not necessarily streets because we could have did without um the hood and the projects and you know I don't have to risk my life to feel as if my life is worthwhile I thank God for every breath <laughs> opening my eyes thank you Lord so um it was definitely a great trip y'all just don't don't do as we did pre-plan be prepared and if you need to leave the resorts if you need to leave the resorts do leave the resorts but do your research there are beautiful when i tell you um beautiful dinners on um on a golf course they have tables set up on the golf course they're beautiful um members only resorts there's um a resort that's only for like you know the not only for but like the wealthy wealthy people stay there like the royal family has stayed there different types of people and how we um our initial plan to get into there was just to make reservations to have dinner there like when i tell you just the dinners we've had the activities that we got to do just the different the people and the connections we met y'all know good and well if your sis has been back to jamaica multiple times <laughs> I don't just go for fun so um it's definitely a place to visit it's definitely a place to be careful and I'm sorry it might have not been as interesting as the Los Angeles girls trip but when it just works and it's just a fun time it's just a fun time we really enjoyed each other and I look forward to our Dubai trip girls I hope you enjoyed the story times I can't wait to see you on some of the trips we are having some re um return girl trip goers on this um on this dubai trip so i'm really looking forward to it and the girls in the patreon which i'm getting ready to go on the patreon call right now they are wanting to do another another ugh, another dallas trip so we are planning our next domestic trip we'll be here in dtx okay 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 so with that being said it's gonna be next year Y'all, next year, I want to go to Nigeria, and I want to go to Dallas, and I want to, I think I'm going to go to Nigeria in the winter. Again, it's not set in stone, and I might not do a girl's trip for Nigeria. I might just go <laughs> with a group that I know. But, you know, all the, the wealthy Nigerian men go back home in the winter to ball out in front of their families to say this is what I'm doing this is what I'm doing this is what I'm doing and they they're, they're looking for princesses to spend their money on so Nigeria is definitely going to be um a trip I'm going to take next year if not the following no I think next winter December 2024 yeah 
<laughs> December 2024 Nigeria for the win um but again I don't know if it's gonna be a girl's trip or not we're gonna see how this Dubai girl's trip go and then Nigeria we can discuss it next um after that but then Dallas this is my city y'all I do I does Dallas so um definitely we can do a Dallas trip next year I love you girls so much please have your notification bell turned on and I can't wait to see you in our next girl chat on Friday y'all I'm getting these videos out y'all I need y'all to like this video I need y'all I need y'all to like this video show me that y'all that y'all are here for the consistency show me that i like i'm the work that i'm putting in like y'all really appreciate it like i need my videos to get back in the algorithm <laughs> so because if not then at this point i'm just gonna have to see y'all when i see y'all i'm gonna just i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see you when i see you but i hope you enjoyed my little you know dibble and dabble in um jamaica again i'm sorry it wasn't more detailed we just had a great time we had such a vibe and um when when things work they just work you know so i love you girls so much and i hope you have a great week <laughs> bye